Hey guys, it's me Ellie and today's video you guys has been probably been the most highly requested video ever Whenever I do a Q&A or ask you guys what kind of videos you want to see, it's always this one But you know, October, November went by so fast, December I was busy with school and holidays But today I am finally here with the most requested video on how I edit my Instagram pictures before I actually show you how I edit my pictures, I want to talk a bit about the program I use, it's Lightroom. And for you now want to click off the video because you think Lightroom is too expensive, I get that. And that's why I want to make this video all about how you can edit your pictures with Lightroom but not spend too much money on it. When you actually don't know what I'm talking about right now because you don't know Lightroom, Lightroom is a photo editing program by Adobe. Adobe also invented Photoshop and there you can edit your pictures with Lightroom presets. Presets are filters you can create on your own or people like bloggers create them and sell them for their followers. A lot of bloggers and YouTubers use those for their feed, so their feed looks all the same, even like feed goals, you know. <laughs> they really like to use them because you can put it over every picture, so every picture has the same filter on it but it still looks good. I have actually two options to show you how you can save money but still use Lightroom. The first one is the one I use, it's using a Lightroom computer program. Now here comes my tip how you can save money. While you have already spent a lot of money on using a program, you can actually save money on using the presets. Because you don't actually have to buy blogger presets, you use blogger presets. No, there's nothing illegal about this. I only did a little research and I found actually photographers who create blogger presets. They let you download them for free and I will link down the one I use down in the description. The program is a bit expensive but I think it's totally worth it because I not only edit my Instagram pictures there, I edit my blog pictures, my YouTube thumbnails, pictures for friends and family and I think so it's totally worth it. The second option is using a Lightroom app because the Lightroom app is completely free. The only problem here is you can't use the free presets I use on the app. Here you have to buy the blogger presets which are mainly made for the app to use it on the app. Here I try to link you some blogger presets I think are not too expensive. I never tried those but I think they look cute so maybe check them out and let me know if they work. But I think that's now enough of explaining. I will just hop right in and show you how I edit my Instagram pictures and maybe give you some more tips. First I put on my preset, it's down the right and your program may be different because I'm using the German version and after putting on a preset I check how the quality of the picture is and then put down a clarity to crane also the sharpening so my picture is not too sharp because I just don't like it. After doing that, I put the temperature almost completely down so my picture is not too warm but also not too cold. And then I adjust the brightening and the contrast on the picture, however, it looks, it may be different on every picture. That my picture is still not too warm, I adjust the dynamic and put it on zero and after it I go on a color orange and put down the limnetics so I look more tanned and the last thing I do is put on a crane a bit again so I have a bit of crane but not too much and that's basically all I do here you can see before and after with and without preset and I actually show you again how I edit with another picture but here I won't talk because I think it will explain by itself and I hope you enjoy. After using Lightroom I actually face to my face, well I not really use Facetune because I also don't want to pay for the app. So I use the app called Beauty Plus and there first I use the acne tool so I reduce all my acne scars. 
and after I did that I used the softening tool to soft my face and make it look more clear. And the last thing I do there is using the brightening tool so I put it on my eyes so my eyes look more bright and pop out of the picture basically because I think my eyes are really small and I want to make them more present in the picture. I hope you liked this video and maybe I could give you some tips. Let me know in the comments how you edit your Instagram pictures if you also use Lightroom or any app. And feel free to follow me on Instagram if you want to see the pictures I edited. And also follow me here if you want to see more videos. And then I see you in my next video. Bye!